What's up, YouTube? It's your boy. <laughs> What's up, you? What's up, YouTube? What's up, YouTube? What's up, YouTube? It's Teron Beckham here with another Q&A. It's been a while since I've did one of these, uh, but before I get into anything, first off, I want to say right now for the holidays, it is fifteen dollars off all programs, and on top of that, as we speak, I am on Twitch streaming live so after you've watched this video make sure you come to the twitch live stream they've been so lit and uh, i know i've been like uploading a little loop video um letting you guys know that i'm live because I, I, I take it serious and i want you guys to be there you show up to my live streams on youtube so why not come to twitch um it's fun i do giveaways reebok giveaways alpha clothing giveaways program giveaways it's just a fun time G Fuel giveaways, whatever. Um, heck, even I give you know $50 GameStop gift cards and stuff. So just come through, have a good time, talk to me, and we're gonna get straight to this Q and A. So, first question, let's see, was when you started, when you first started lifting, did you start from bones or being overweight? And how do you feel about vegan diet and weightlifting? Oh, Morty. <laughs> okay. So, anyways. I didn't start from anything. I don't think I was ever, I definitely was never overweight and I was never skinny. Um, if you've watched my five years transformation videos, you will see I've, I've seen a lot of complaint about the video because I'm not one of those transformations that, you know, I gain, you know, I went from looking super small or over overly big and losing weight or gaining a certain amount of weight um fast or whatever it was just a constant progression throughout my life um, i've always been muscular i wasn't like you know I mean, i'm only like 220 right now but uh, you know um when i graduated high school i think i was 200 pounds and i was 210 uh out of high school i was 210 out of high school and then you know over the years the most i weighed was like 238 is the most I weighed and um, that was just binging binge eating and it just kind of leveled right there um, so no um, that's not my story I've always been pretty much in shape always trained I've always been in like peewee league football all the way up to just sports training all majority of my life so I, I you know it's I've always kind of wanted that type of feeling to understand you know being uh, uh, skinny and trying to come up to really that hard gainers you know problems or possibly overweight and and lose weight and you know tell a story because you know those people actually have a, a more motivational story than I do you know I'm just a a workhorse I just work hard and that's really all I know so but we all have our specialties in our speech and, our, and in our motivation to speaking to the masses. So that's that. And what was the other one again? I feel about vegan. And how do you feel about a vegan diet? Um, a vegan diet is fine. I mean, I'm not sure if you're asking me going like straight vegan or just doing a vegan diet for a period of time. Um, heck, I would try for a period of time. I wouldn't last. I probably would barely last for a week, but I would try. My girlfriend already right now, she thinks like, I'm going vegan because I'm talking about like these animal cruelty stuff and, um, you know, just some some very animal sincere stuff. And um, I've even considered trying to just eat fish and veggies. Um, so I'm, I'm slowly progressing. I actually don't eat um, you know, like the beef steak as much as I used to. It's kind of just dumbed down to chicken and fish. And, you know, possibly it may just dumb down to just fish and um, veggies. I mean, there, there's there's things out there that let us know we don't need meat. You know, there's no argument in that. I can't argue on that. It's more of a, it's just, you know, it's like, it's like a tradition. It's just like buried inside and it's just a part, right? And it's just hard to, to get out of that. You know what I'm saying? It's just being like stubborn. Like uh, you, you tell me something. Oh, this well, well okay, that's cool, bro. But I'm still gonna do what I wanna do. It's, it's, it's that's the that's the exact thing with I feel like meat eating. It's just you do it because you want to, not because oh, and, and because you don't want to let go of it because you're so used to eating it. You're so used to the taste. You know it tastes good, and you don't care about anything else. And that's the whole point. We know they get killed. We know they get murdered. You know, they, they go through bad stuff, all that. And that's just the simple fact. But we deny those facts because we know 
we like it and we taste good and we are a part of that which is the problem and I mean it's simple these are facts but once again we're still going to do it anyways so enough of that let's get on to the next question uh, how do I feel about weightlifting? Oh yeah, I love I love weightlifting. The reason why I stopped, a lot of you are saying, you know, I had this dream of uh, Tokyo. Yeah, you know, I did in a way, but I knew that certain things come into play. You gotta understand how, everything I do, you know. First off, okay, I do the YouTube videos. Second off, it's hard for me to commit to something. And how do I say this? It's hard for me to continue like weightlifting back and forth, back and forth because I have so much other stuff going on. And if I see a pattern where I can't be consistent to make it to that level, then I have to kind of venture off because I just have things that are getting in the way of weightlifting. And on top of that, the the injuries, my shoulder injuries, my knees, you know, there are things that, there's a lot of things that come into play. When I first started, everything was great. The motivation was great. I was doing good, wasn't, was feeling great. But when those aches come, it's a different story. And I'm at, I'm at an older age than guys that start out weightlifting in their teenage uh, years. Um, I, I, want, I started weightlifting to better my weightlifting at first i know i did the road to tokyo video of course that's like a thumbnail clickbait type of video but yes could i see myself in the Olympics sometime yeah of course the time that i'll probably do it i'll be 30 by then i would be really pushing it but um especially with this move as well I, we plan on moving so i won't be able to get coached by novak anymore and i'll have to find someone else and going through all that so there's a lot of things. The weightlifting videos aren't done. Um, I still want to, you know, perfect that. I uh, still want to try to get it a uh, video with Novak at least like once a week. Um, continuing on, and we just start from the bottom again and work on mobility. So uh, that's the questions for that and for everybody. How did you become the big fitness YouTuber you are? Um, there, I am in no way a big YouTuber, a big fitness YouTuber at all. There are guys like Callum, Steven, Cook, Jeff Seed, Bradley Martin, Kylie Muscle, uh, Christian Guzman, Max Tuning, Goku Flex. You know, these guys are way past me. You know, I just do my thing at whatever pace that I'm going. Um, and I think that's the thing. I just consistently do my thing. A lot of guys come in and you know maybe they'll even blow up and then all of a sudden they're nothing you know but one thing that i can say is no matter how good or bad my youtube is going i am consistently on the job like clockwork uh, if i'm if i'm out on vacay i make sure i get a video in wherever i'm going i don't care if it's just me and my girlfriend and that and that's just you know our vacay you know cool we're having we're enjoying our time but while we're out where we're at i'm still trying to get a vid in because i know this is what I do. This is it. You know, and another uh, question I'm going to answer is, you know, what do you do for work? And this is it. I do programs. I do YouTube. Do influencer stuff, sponsorship stuff. I get hit up by jobs. I mean, um, by big companies to promote. Uh, do ads and um, actually gaming companies. Like I did a Final Fantasy video, um, which I'll clip with the link in below. You should check it out uh, for a Final Fantasy app. If you love Final Fantasy, if you just want a game to play, definitely check that game out. Um, you can download it, it's free. Um, you know, but companies like that, they'll send me um, stuff to do for work, as in like a video or just a post on Instagram or Snapchat or Instagram stories. And basically you promote it, you get a couple grand for it, and there's your money for the month. Um, and it's kind of like, I get one, one a month sometimes. Um, how it averages out, I get like one a month. But there's that. Um, and just content creator. That's really it. You know, I have the luxury to finally be able to. I've been doing this honestly, straight up for two years. This is all I've been doing for two years. YouTube. Don't work for anybody. I do everything from home. I just edit videos. Jeff edits videos. We go out and shoot videos three, four, five times a week, depending on the week, depending on how good the views are. Trying to find what works work what doesn't and that's what all this whole this whole era right now is just about what works and what doesn't for this channel and if i want to make another channel to do other things that i want to do as a creator because they're they're not fitness relevant they're just like life 
comedy. I want to do a lot of comedy stuff. So there's that I want to do. Um, and that's just kind of how I'm growing and how I separate myself from everybody else. You know, with the anime, gaming stuff, comedy stuff, people will look at me, you know, see a lot of people like, oh, this guy, like, Toronto's like, not, not a manly man, oh, he's gay, his hair, it's speaking, matter of fact, speaking of gay, the left ear is the right ear for earrings, right, not the right ear, the right ear just for you new, new era people is the earring that's supposedly for gay people, the left ear is for straight, because somebody commented that and you got it totally wrong. He must be a new era child. So get the facts right. Understand it, right? My earrings are bomb. My hair is bomb. I don't care what you say. As long as it's all about you, bro. Do you dye your hair, go bald, grow it all the way out for the rest of your life, get pierced, tats, whatever. I don't care, bro. Just do you, point blank. That's all that matters. And that's why and you see me comment and stuff. Honestly, I comment on trolls because it's funny. It's entertainment. I like to kind of get people revved up just because it's just entertaining for me. Sometimes I do get bored in my desk right here. And I'm just like, you know what? Let me find some comments to just troll back on. And, you know, it's nothing to me. I just say whatever. And I keep it real, too. I really don't care. I keep it 100. I don't care. All right. Um, so continuing on, I think I fell off track of the question but yeah uh, I, I just got big from doing me um, being consistent I think that's all it is just consistency uh, I haven't trained clients in like two years just because I've been so focused on YouTube and going knowing I have to go train a client kind of gets in my way and kind of kills my creative thoughts um, knowing I could be doing something um, on my own with Jeff shooting for you guys so that's that I gave up training and I could be probably I could make I don't, I don't know. I could probably be making a lot more than what I do now if I can just strap some clients, train them weekly or whatever. But uh, I'm just so focused on this that I just want this to be my one and only and it's been going great. So thank you guys. Um, camera gear and the new sponsorship with Reebok. So camera gear, I have the Sony R7 II. I'm about to take it back and actually get the R3. Um, I have this Rode mic, it was like 250. I got it from Walmart, but it's like the Rode Pro. So it's like the best one. Apparently that all the top vlog guys, nice that and whoever else use, um, according to Jeff. And um, we have the Zeeun gimbal. So if you ever see like really smooth, nice edited videos, we're probably using the Zeeun crane for stability. And on top of that, the Reebok. I am a Reebok athlete, trainer, whatever you want to say um i signed with them four months ago uh, i've been with reebok yeah ever since four months you don't get a discount code but if you ever want reebok gear i do have a link to let them know that um you know that you're going through me and i'm actually worth being sponsored by them and stuff um i do get paid like like seven percent ten percent of each sale so i'm not saying i don't push it because you know commission i don't care but if you ever just Take the thought of, hey, I want to buy some Reebok gear. Let me go through Teron's link. That'll be appreciated and much love. Uh, but yeah, it's been great. We'll have some Reebok videos coming up for you guys because we're going to head to the headquarters in Boston, Massachusetts. And it's going to be lit, bro. Are you trying out for NFL again? No. NFL is dead. All right. All the sports stuff is literally dead. Uh, the WWE, excuse me, hold on. Uh -oh. The WWE, dead, done. No contracts. I've denied. I've denied some good stuff. I'm not gonna say what corporations and stuff, but I've denied some good stuff that you would think that is, you know, like oh, like once in a lifetime chance type stuff. But when you go through the contract, when you see how much they control and stuff, and as a business person who owns their own brand, and you think about the future, it's like, uh, mm, and you got to make some tough decisions. And the thing about it is, I see myself growing big without the need of big corporations or being a part of big stuff like that, unless it's like a movie deal, um, where I can still do what I do and I'm going to the movie, blah, blah, blah. And that's another story, but I will get along with that when I get deeper into my acting career, because um, I do want to become an actor. Um, but you, you got to understand the 
I have a lot that I've built already and a lot of things that the people that hit me up, they want control over what I do and I just can't accept that. I need control over everything. That's just how I am. And uh, I'm already know, already know that I'm gonna go far in, in what I do and that's what's most important to me. And on top of that, I'm a very, um, I'm a very loyal person, you know, I, I'm a very loyal person, but I'm a very loyal person when it comes to thinking about others that will be um, affected by it. And if it's going to, especially if it's going to bring me down, my brand down possibly, and on top of that, affect, you know, family, friends and stuff like that, then that's where I'm like, all right, you know what? No, I can, I'm going to make something happen regardless. So there's that. Um, let's see. Best way to improve athleticism in terms of, bless you, Chucky Sha. Best way to improve athleticism in terms of speed and jumping. So I don't know if you've seen my videos of contrast training. When it comes to speed and jumping, contrast training is the best way. And what that is, is when you go over, uh, under and unload, it's kind of like you're overloading your body, whether you're doing like a bench, a squat, a deadlift, and then you do a plyometric movement following that movement. So I do a squat, I do a box squat, and then right after that, I do a vertical jump. Your body is gonna tap into this overload mode where it's gonna feel light and you're getting your body used to going just speed, fast switch muscles. It's like when you wear a weighted vest and then you take it off, you feel 10 times faster. It's best you, it, the people, what, what, what kills me is when people wear the weighted vest, take it off and they're like, oh, they're resting. No, you take the vest off and you do just what you did with it on. If you ran 50 yards with the vest off, you need to run 50 yards with it on. I mean, with uh, with the vest on, you run 50 yards with it off right as soon as you take it off. That's what's gonna help you getting that overcharge training right there, that contrast training. So definitely try that out. Do a deadlift, you know, do a box jump or something right after the deadlift, a box squat, do a vertical jump right after that. Bench, do explosive push-ups, you know, bench, get on the ground, boom, just being explosive. Everything is explosive movements. Uh, how would you go about becoming a sponsored athlete or becoming sponsored in the fitness industry? Um, I really don't know how to answer this right now because somebody asked me before, you know, I'm going to give you my best answer. Somebody asked me today about it and it's just kind of like, I don't know fully because the game has changed. The algorithm on Instagram has changed. It's not as easy to grow anymore. If you're stuck you know at the bottom of people's feeds you're kind of like stuck there unless you're on a consistent basis and I and I, I tell everybody it's just about consistency like if, if one post isn't enough a day then one post is enough a day go two two not enough go three you know I think hour five is a little bit too much but you got to produce content on the clock straight up you have to get people to want to watch what you're doing and that's the key to growth. Like, what can you bring to the table differently than others? You know, are you more consistent? Like, this person might be a lot better in content, but are you more consistent? You know, do you throw out more content? And people just want to see more and more, and, and it just kind of starts to grow on people. And sure enough, you have a following of people that want to keep up with what you're doing. And try things. Try and just see what works out. I mean, a lot of people get stuck to trying to, you know, make one thing work for them. Like gaming at first didn't work for me. So I had to build elsewhere, which is fitness, the fitness industry, and build that up. And then sure enough, hey, I have fitness people that are into gaming too. So I take those and bring them over here, just like I do with Twitch. To those people that are into gaming and stuff and, and want to talk to me and, and play as well, bring them to the Twitch. Now I just built this simply and then just mention this and now I have two things, you know, and then it goes further. You know, I mentioned this with anime or something and now, hey, I got three things. And you just build that crowd of people and it's all about letting your personality out, letting people know what you're interested in. I think one of my advantages is that I am into gaming and anime and a nerdy guy and uh, goofy and stuff like that. So it's just all about being you and being a creator and uh, really thinking hard about trying new things. How strong were your lifts by the end of senior year of high school? 
senior year of high school, I was definitely benching between 350 and like 400. Yeah, 350. I was definitely benching around 350 uh, and 400. I think I was able to hit 405 for one freshman year of college, um, which was 2010. The, the yeah, the summer of 2010. Uh, deadlifting. I really didn't deadlift. We did not deadlift at all. So I, I did not ever deadlift until 2011. Didn't ever deadlift until 2011. Didn't even know what a deadlift was until 2011. They do not teach deadlifts in high school, college. It was maybe like trap trap bar squat. I call it a trap bar squat, not a deadlift. Um, they do we do trap trap bar squats, but not deadlifts. Um, so I don't know what my deadlifts were. I think the first time I deadlifted, I think I was around like five, you know, 500 plus for sure. I was definitely around 500 plus. I think I have a video of me on my channel on my highlight doing 605 maybe. Um, my football highlight doing 605, but that was 2012 by that time. And uh, as far as squat, I was squatting um, around the high 500s uh, uh, senior year of high school. What's a major flaw you found about yourself that you want to improve in 2018? Um, I don't know if it's a flaw or a blessing, to be honest. It, it can be... I'm too... Um, I'm too, like... I don't know. I think I'm too nice. I think I'm too nice to, like, you know... I don't know. I just feel like I'm too nice. Like, I... I I'm not as nice as I used to be. I used to be very foolishly nice, but when I first moved to New York and stuff and got played so many times and screwed over. So, I, you know, that's one thing I'm still working on is to really understand who is really for you and who's not. And uh, cause I mean, you know, I'm nice to everybody um, and I keep it real with everybody in a, you know, in a nice way, you know, cause I, I even trying to not deny somebody to do something. I'm like, damn like that's hard or like you know that's harsh i have to think about it like yo, i don't want I, let's say somebody wants to do a video with me but i'm not really feeling their vibe you know because if, if you want to do a video with me i gotta feel your vibe if you're constantly you know saying yo let's do a video together let's do a video together inviting yourself to do something with me then i'm not really going to feel that you know I, I like to build a relationship even if it's on instagram messaging you here and there for a year or two or whatever and then you know building a relationship and then when I meet you we we do something that's different but when I first meet you like let's take your number let's do something blah, blah, blah. and I don't really know you like that or we if we don't jump off the back then I'm not really going to try to push to do anything with you but when you text like ask me in person or something and I'm just I'm trying to find a way to be like no like I feel so bad because I don't want to be I don't want I'm the type of person that doesn't want anybody to hate me, you know? And I think that that is definitely my, my issue. I try so hard to find a way to, you know, get people to like me or, um, and, 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 and as much as I, as I say that now, I I don't care, but in a, in a way that's from my past self, from what I came from in high school, you know, I used to be picked on. I used to worry so much about what people thought of me. Um, because I wanted to be the cool guy, but I was like the nerdy. Um, I was like the semi cool because I was on a football team and I was good. And I was on a basketball team and I was good. And I was on a track team and I was good. You know, that was my way into, I guess, like females and whatever. Freaking teenagers in high school, it was like. And, um, but I was still kind of nerdy. I still, you know, hung out with the, I guess, the loser kids. You know what I'm saying? Because, one, I didn't like people picking on them. Um, that, you know, I took class with this, this guy named I think Kane and some other girls and stuff. We took Japanese class together in high school and just people would pick on them and, you know, I would, I would try to hang out with him as much as possible or be cool. He was a very awkward person, but, you know, I didn't like people feeling down or under and I, I, I'm a sucker for that when people are just feeling down. Um, feel like they're you know have no friends or stuff you know if you don't have a friend you know I was a guy who like you know I'll be your friend I don't care like I don't I don't care for weird loser I'll be your friend because that was just that's just the type of person I am and I would try to hide it like I you know like I was a cool guy but eventually I was just like you know what dude this guy's probably suffering more than what I would if I was to hang out with him so you know fuck it whatever and it's not a sorrow thing it's just like people just need somebody to 
talk to, to be cool with, and that's it. And I mean, and, and for, for for you out there, if you got a weird person, yo, like, so what? Chill with them, see what's up with them. It might be dope as hell. You never know, so um, yeah. I don't know if I answered the question, but there's my answer. Let's get one more. Where do you see your future going regarding YouTube and Twitch? Uh, like I said before, I think I've already answered this. I was just picking, you know, randomly where my thumb landed. Um, what I see, I mean, I just see growth continually throughout my life, dude. I mean, this was, I plan on doing this for a long time, making videos for you guys for a long time, streaming on Twitch for a long time. I wouldn't take it serious and be, dude, I, I remember, I got 50 viewers in my chat for the first time on Twitch and I was like, I was like almost in tears. I take what I do seriously. I'm very passionate about what I put myself into and the time that I sacrifice for everything, you know, and I kid you not, I got off that, I got, you know, it was like, it was like, you know that, you know that scene with uh, Will Smith and um, uh, pursuit of happiness when he was just like crying and he was clapping that was me after that twitch stream I was like I hugged my girlfriend I was like yo that stream was so awesome so it's just kind of been like that and then ever since I started doing the YouTube thing um, like letting people know that I'm on twitch on YouTube I've been getting like up to like a hundred viewers and I've just been every time I get off it's just like chills like I know I get it now because it's like I do, I do the Reebok shoes giveaways, Alpha clothing giveaways, and I buy stuff for people um, and giveaway programs. But you know, eventually it'll become something that people want to do instead of just come to do for giveaways. But uh, either even still, it's it's progression from I've been doing this for what like two years now, uh, consistently for not even a year, not even half a year honestly, but um, actually like half a year, consistently for half a year. But yeah, and then with YouTube, it's just constant growth, constant meeting people, making, um, you know, being a content creator, because that's what I love to do. So I uh, appreciate you guys watching. Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. Another Q&A will be coming up. I'm going to try to do this at least uh, every three weeks or once a month or so. And uh, I just, just keep doing what you're doing. I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing. Uh, comment below what type of videos you would like to see on this channel. And I appreciate you all for watching. Peace out.